Hi, let's talk about captive screw terminations. Um, the reason it's called the captive screw termination is there's screws on the top and it captures uh, a wire on the side here. So as you screw down the, the little screw at the top, it will push down on a gate which will capture the um, wire very, very powerfully. We see these a lot now. These are all over in the industry. Um, some advantages is it's very inexpensive compared to a lot of the other connectors that we use. And um, it's very easy for us to identify uh, which connector and which signal goes in which one of these little gates. So let's take a look at one more closely. The screws are over here. So it's a captive screw. Here's the screw part. And when we push down on these screws, when we screw them in, it will push down on a gate on this side and the gate will close down on the wire and provide uh, tight compression on that wire and hold it in place. So the first step in building our uh, connector, our captive uh, screw connector, is to uh, trim back our, our uh, outer jacket. We've done that. As you can see, we've stripped back a little bit on each, each one of the individual wires. And we have a shield wire here that is bare. And what we're, one of the first steps we're going to do is to take and use some heat shrink over that bare wire and replace the insulation as if it had insulation on it like the other wires. Uh, the, the reason for that is it helps prevent, uh, you don't want any bare wires hanging out in the back of your rack. So that will help prevent any shorts and it will also provide some mechanical stability for it. We've also placed a uh, small piece of heat shrink over the junction here and We'll push that up. Fit it all together. And this has made a strong junction point. This will be a very solid uh, connector. This will help prevent any uh, strain on the wire. And we'll go ahead and uh, put this under our heat gun now. Turn it on and we'll let it get hot for a second. Then we'll simply apply heat. We'll keep it moving. Okay, now we've replaced the insulation on this bare wire. Now we have some covering over the top of it to protect it. We'll trim this back a little bit to match the other cables. And here we have our three wires and we're going to go ahead and put them inside the gates. Now, how do I know which wire goes in which gate? This is what's known as the pinout. You can usually find the instruction for which conductor goes in each gate in the equipment manual. Push it in. Now let's tighten it down. And the screw is pushing down on the gate, which squeezes the wire, the stranded wire, so it squeezes very nicely, nice and flat, and makes a good, nice compressed fitting, nice mechanical fitting. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've done here. So we can see These are underneath the gate, so you can see it's not clamping on the uh, insulation, but it's clamped on the wire itself in both of these. And it's not sticking out over the end. Although, let's look at this last one here. 
the shield wire is sticking out over the end. So we, we don't want that. Um, it's hanging out. It's a, a danger uh, f for, the, for a short and a signal. So let's go ahead and unscrew that. That's the nice thing about a captive screw is that you can redo it very easily. We'll screw that gate out and reinsert our wire properly. Nice pressure on it to hold it in there. Put the screw in. Let's give each one a little bit extra, just to make sure it's nice and snug. There we go. So the first test is to pull on it. It looks like everything's uh, held tightly. And let's take a look inside. So we can see that the gate is closing down on bare wire, not on insulation. And then if we look at it from the side, there's no bare wire hanging out from the back of the connector itself, outside the connector housing. So that's how you make a nice captive screw connection. Um, they're used all over the industry. They're uh, inexpensive for the manufacturers to include in their equipment, and they're also very nice, very handy for installers to use since you can uh, connect them and disconnect them as you need. Um, go ahead and try one yourself.